Do you know what your blood pressure numbers mean? If not, you're not alone. Many people are unaware of the vital role blood pressure plays in maintaining cardiovascular health. Blood pressure is a vital sign that measures the force with which blood is pumped through the body's arteries. It's crucial for our well-being because both high and low blood pressure can pose significant health risks. These pressures are determined by a pair of numbers, each telling its own important story. So what do those blood pressure numbers actually mean? When you get your blood pressure checked, you'll see two numbers. These numbers represent your systolic and diastolic blood pressure readings. The first number, known as the systolic pressure, gauges the force exerted on the artery walls when your heart beats. It's the moment your heart contracts and pumps blood out into your body. On the other hand, the second number is the diastolic pressure. It measures the pressure in the arteries when your heart is at rest between beats, refilling with blood. It's the quiet phase, so to speak, but just as critical. So, when we talk about a normal blood pressure reading, we usually refer to a systolic number less than 120 millimeters of mercury and a diastolic number less than 80 millimeters of mercury. If your numbers consistently fall in this range, it means your heart is efficiently pumping blood without putting undue stress on your arteries. But what if your numbers are above or below this range? Well, that's when things can get a bit more complicated. High blood pressure or hypertension occurs when the reading is consistently over 120 over 80. On the flip side, low blood pressure or hypotension is when the numbers drop below 90 for systolic or 60 for diastolic. Now that you understand what these numbers mean, let's discuss what happens when they're too high or too low. High blood pressure or hypertension is a serious medical condition with far-reaching consequences. When your blood pressure is consistently too high, it means your heart is working overtime to circulate blood. This can lead to a domino effect of health issues. Over time, the extra strain can cause damage to your arterial walls, which may result in a buildup of fatty deposits or plaque. This narrows the arteries, restricting blood flow to vital organs like the heart, brain, kidneys, and eyes. The lack of oxygen-rich blood can increase the risk of life-threatening conditions such as heart attack, stroke, kidney disease, and even vision loss. There are several stages of high blood pressure from elevated to a hypertensive crisis, each carrying its own risks and treatment recommendations. It's crucial to know where you stand on this spectrum to manage your health effectively. But it's not just high blood pressure you need to worry about, low blood pressure can also cause problems. While high blood pressure strains the cardiovascular system, low blood pressure can also be problematic. This condition, known as hypotension, indicates that the heart is not pumping enough oxygenated blood to the body's vital organs. This lack of sufficient blood flow can cause a variety of symptoms. You might feel dizzy, lightheaded, or fatigued. Some people experience nausea, and in extreme cases, there might even be fainting. But what makes low blood pressure a concern? Well, if it gets too low, it can deprive your organs of the oxygen and nutrients they need to function. This can lead to a severe and potentially life-threatening condition known as shock. And while it's not as commonly discussed as its high-pressure counterpart, it's equally important to be aware of. Low blood pressure might be temporary, or it could be a sign of underlying health issues. Either way, it's crucial to get it checked out. So, what can you do to maintain a healthy blood pressure? There are several common causes of high and low blood pressure and knowing these can help you manage your blood pressure effectively. High blood pressure can be triggered by obesity, lack of physical activity, high sodium intake, excessive alcohol consumption, smoking, chronic conditions like diabetes, kidney disease, sleep apnea, genetics, family history, and aging. On the other hand, low blood pressure can be caused by dehydration, certain medications, pregnancy, heart problems, endocrine disorders, and severe infections or allergic reactions. To manage high blood pressure, it's often recommended to make lifestyle changes such as eating a healthy low-sodium diet rich in fruits and vegetables, increasing physical activity, reducing alcohol consumption, and quitting smoking. In some cases, medication may also be necessary. For low blood pressure, treatment often involves addressing the underlying cause and ensuring adequate hydration. Remember, maintaining a healthy blood pressure is crucial for your overall health. Always consult with a healthcare professional if you have concerns about your blood pressure. Understanding your blood pressure numbers is the first step towards maintaining cardiovascular health. Stay informed, seek medical advice when needed, this information is just the beginning. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos. Thanks for watching.